Welcome to the Varsity Termite and Pest Control Podcast. We provide helpful and informative knowledge on all matters concerning your pest infestation problems. We have been serving the East Valley for over 25 years, and we bring our professional working values with unmatched customer service. In this episode of our podcast, we'll review if the amount of rain in Arizona can influence the presence of more termites in your home. Termites love rain, and the moister it is, the happier they are. So monsoon season in Arizona is a great time for termites. The rain keeps the ground wet, creating a damp and moldy haven for termites to live and get down on some tasty treats. Wood, leaves, and other organic matter in the soil is ripe for termites to eat. Subterranean termites, the kind that live in the ground, especially love the rainy weather. Subterranean termites are also the kind that can do the most damage to your home. The rainy weather can put them on the move to feast on the fresh buffet the ground offers, eventually finding their way to your home. Keeping wood away from your home will help to keep the termites at bay. That includes lumber that you have piled near your home, as well as branches or firewood that have fallen near your home or been stacked there. However, wood doesn't need to be near your home for termites to be a problem. You should regularly check your home for signs that termites are present, and you should certainly check after every rainstorm since activity is likely to be increased. Here's what you should look for. Mud tubes. Subterranean termites build mud tubes in which to travel. The tubes help to retain the moisture that they need and love. You may find these tubes on the ground near your home, or even on the foundation or the sides of your home. Mud tubes on the sides of your home will stay near the bottom. Check for mud tubes regularly so you can spot your termite problem early. Be especially mindful to check for them after it rains since they are likely to spring up at that time. Termite wings. Termite wings aren't as easy to spot as you might think. They are small and they can look at any number of other organic matter like cellulose from leaves or sticks. Also, how do you know that they are the wings of termites and not some other insect? Termite wings look like tiny fish scales, and you are likely to see them in small groups. The wings will all be about the same size, and they will appear near openings like your doorway or windowsill. You might also see them in cobwebs. If you see these wings, it's time to call a termite exterminator in Glendale. Frass. Frass is a fancy word for termite poop. That's right, termites will leave piles of their feces around your home, in your doorways, and on your windowsills. Frass is colored like wood, so it might look like sawdust. Therefore, if you see what looks like sawdust or scattered dirt granules in places where you haven't been sawing, you might have a termite problem. Call a termite company in Glendale to schedule an inspection. Cracked or peeling paint. Termites eat wood from the inside out, and that can weaken the wood and cause the paint on it to crack or peel. The movement of the termites can also damage the paint. If you have cracked or peeling paint, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have termites. You could also have moisture issues, which can eventually attract termites. No matter what, you need to get to the bottom of what's causing the problem and correct it. Soft wood. Since termites eat wood from the inside out, You aren't likely to see any grooves or holes in the wood from where termites have been chowing down. Instead, the wood will feel soft to the touch. You may notice it in your home in the form of sagging floors, thresholds that give under your feet, or walls that seem to give when you lean against them. You are more likely to notice soft wood on areas around the outside of your home, such as doors, shutters, and so on. And noise. Termites can be just as noisy as other insects in the right circumstances. Termites can make a lot of noise to sound the alarm to other termites when they feel there is danger, such as from predators. So, what's this alarm sound like? Just tap on a piece of wood and you'll hear a banging sound if there are termites inside. Of course, that requires that you tap the right piece of wood, so don't become complacent if you tap some wood and don't hear anything. Remember. The best way to know for sure if you have termites is to call a termite pest control company in Glendale for an inspection by an experienced professional. The earlier you catch the problem, the better. You can invest in pest control and limit the spread of the infestation and the damage. 
Varsity Termite and Pest Control offers effective termite control services in Glendale, Arizona. We specialize in eradicating the termites that are common to Arizona, and our termite exterminators can create a treatment plan for your home that will eliminate these problematic pests. Contact us today to schedule an inspection and to learn more about your pest control options. For more information, call us at 602-757-8252 or visit us online at varsitytermiteandpestcontrol.com. After experiencing our service, you'll see why we're the top termite company in Glendale, Arizona. Thank you for listening to the Varsity Termite and Pest Control podcast. We pride ourselves on being the absolute best when it comes to finding all pests infestations and then using first-rate methods to eradicate them and keep your family safe. When you need the most comprehensive pest control in Arizona, consult with the experienced and qualified team at Varsity Termite and Pest Control.